What is a sound suit? A sound suit is this sort of wearable sculpture. It can be very still, and yet it can be extremely animated. It's a suit of armor, a retaliation vestment, a political statement. It's a shaman. The first sound suit came out of frustration and my sort of concern as a black male in America feeling devalued, discarded, dismissed. I was sitting in the park one day and I'm just emotionally struggling with the uh, Rodney King incident. And I happened to look down at the ground and there was this twig and I looked at that twig and I thought it was something discarded. That symbolically represented how I felt as a black male. The simple twig was the catalyst for my first sound suit. And so then I proceeded to collect all the twigs in the park, took them back to the studio, started to build the sculpture. And the moment that I put it on the body, it started to move it then made sound, which then led me to this other expression that was focused around protest. In order to be heard, you gotta speak louder. When I made the first sound suit, I knew by just looking at it that it would change my life. I could tell that this was something other. My first exhibition was in 96, and it was 30 sound suits. And they basically sewed that entire show within a month. This was like this overnight sensation, I swear to God. Today I'm able to work in this vast arena working between bronze and wood and fiber and performance. In the studio, at any given time, there's always eight assistants just prepping and getting materials ready. I'm very particular about how things are built. It's deliberate, every move is critically decided. It's a sort of collage of elements coming together. We are in the Park Armory in New York City. We are in the beginning phases of a performance titled Upright. Upright is this performance that really is this sort of rite of passage that is accompanied by 12 dancers and a gospel choir from Harlem. The part of the process of collaboration is the most gratifying thing that I do. I like to bring a project to a city and hire the city to build the project. There's a lot of work that is gathered from narratives and stories within the communities. All of this is all folded into the larger sort of project. So that's why I do it. My consciousness being awakened has allowed me to sort of find purpose. 